Alright everyone, Pick a Mix Gamer here. Today we're playing Aviond, I pronounce it, and it's the first one in a series of games and it's called Ren's Quest. This one has been a favourite of mine for an extremely long time. I'm going to put the website in the description so you can get it from there, but yeah, so let's get started. New quest. Easy, I don't know, no, yeah, normal mode. <clears throat> Play introduction. What are you? Some knew me as Aegis Priestess. Aegis is sealed in the demon realm, as are all of the... Is that divas, is that? Demons. You cannot be him. You are mistaken, Priestess. Our master has set us free. We have come home. It's... Your master? Our men. That... It's not possible. It was defeated long ago. I defeated him. Good night, priestess. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. Oh, it's not lost find the child little one bring her to me always been a favorite this one <clears throat> i first actually got it off big fish but there's two places you can get it from. And I went a bit mad buying the whole game set. Not just this one, the other ones too. There she is, <clears throat> a beautiful young woman. Oh, my, where did you come from? Why, you are the strangest butterfly I've ever seen. Where am I? Help me. What is this place? Who are you? Please. We must go back through the portal. Portal? It'll... It'll take us back. Is that, that's it, Ren, yeah, just drag her on the floor. <laughs> pa! Pa! Come quick! Uh, Ren, are you okay? Uh, is a stranger. I don't know, Daddy, but she's hurt. Is that you, Taylor? I have come. It, it is time. Daddy? You, you know each other. I must get her back to the cottage. Again, just drag her along. You're all right. <laughs> Welcome to Avion. To get started, you should save your game. I should, I should. It's always useful. Save one. To save your game in future, press escape or click the right mouse button. Then on your menu, click save game. The next thing that you need to do is go talk to your pa. Your pa is in his cottage in the village. Pa is tending to a sick, mysterious woman you found. To go to town, use your arrow keys or mouse to walk west and north. Ooh. Ooh. I miss this game. You always have set games that get you into it, <clears throat> whether it's console. 
excuse me, sorry, whether it's um, <clears throat> console or PC, you know, like desktop sort of thing, you always have those games that get you into certain types of, you know, systems. And I must admit, for me, for desktop, it was black and white and Aviond and Dinner Dash and that lot. Ooh, a cave. But I've honestly played this so many times. And I am still literally not bored of it. You're about to enter the village. To talk to the villagers, walk up to them and press spacebar or click on them. To open gates and doors, walk up to them and press spacebar. First you should go talk to your pa. Your pa is in a cottage near the bridge. Thank you. Also, I've adjusted a new microphone into me OBS, so if it does sound a little bit strange, I'm still working on the filters on it. Oh, wait, no, we have to talk. To well, we don't have to, but it's nice to. Danny. Hi, Ren. <laughs> Hi, Danny. I'm just going to nosy in your house for a bit. Apologies. Vanna. Most of the villagers are in the orchards gathering apples for the festivals. Smashing. Don't walk in front of me, Danny. Mother! Ma, that poor woman, who do you suppose she came from? Oh, where do you suppose she came from? Daddy! Pa! Ren, go find the herbalist and bring her here. Quick, lass! You've just received your first quest. To view your quest, press escape or click the right mouse button, select journal. Your journal contains all the important things that you need to do. You need to go find the herbalist. The herbalist lives in the northwest part of town. You should go to her cottage and bring her back to your park. Smashing. Will do, Daddy. Come along, Ren. I'd say the only annoying thing is in this game when you go to walk somewhere and then someone just walks in front of you dead quick. Hello, little one. Eggy. Or edgy, but I think it's eggy. I see a Marin Bell on the other side of the stream, but I can't get to it. Ah, uh, well, let it grow then. A sweet little child. <sighs> Where is that stranger your father brought into town? Never mind, nosy woman. Ren, Ren, come and play with me. Ugh, do I have to? Herbalist. Welcome, Ren. Is there anything I or the mayor can do for you? That's not the that's not the herbalist. That's the mayor's house. Bloody hell. Continue to play, little one. I'm on a quest. Haha. -ha. Here she is. Hopefully. But I'm pretty sure this is her. Ren, how are you and your mother and father? Can I get you anything? Uh, do you think you can come by our house sometime soon? Uh, is something wrong, dear? No, uh, so, sort of. I, I found this woman. I think she is her. Parry's watching over her and has asked me to come get you. Oh dear, we should go then. To view your guests in your party, press escape or right click to open your menu. Guests appear at the bottom of the menu in the friends section. Guests can't be part of the activity, party, they're just observers. So if you open the party page in your menu, you won't see them listed. Smashing. So basically, if someone comes at us with a dagger, they can't actually do anything. They're just there looking. <laughs> Help me! I'm just an observer, dear. <laughs> but there's like uh, four different endings to this, I think. And I've got them all. There you go, dear. She's up here, Matt, in my and Pa's bed. Okay. 
Okay, more stuff to go over. She will help our guests get better. Uh, who is she, Pa? She's a priestess from a faraway land. A real life priestess? You two knew each other? Uh, yeah. A lifetime ago. Oh. Pa? Yes? Why would someone, a, a priestess from a lifetime ago, come here to see us? We'll talk about it later, dear. Go visit your mother. I believe she has chores for you to do. The festival's only one day away and there's a lot of work to be done. She has a strange burn marks all over her arms. A little pigwood saliva should help her heal. Smashing! Ah, let's help dear mother. Dear, your little friend Peter stopped by a while ago while you were out. He told me he was going to the meadow to gather flowers for the festival. I need you to take this basket and bring me some flowers as well. Do I have to, Ma? Oh, it won't be that bad. Find me five Marion Bell flowers, or Marion Bell flowers, and then you can play. <sighs> I mean, uh, yes, Ma. To pick an item up, go in front of it and press spacebar or clicking it with the mouse. You remember seeing the Marion Bells in the meadow? The meadow is southeast of the village. Smashing. Just so you know as well, you can't open this chest yet. It's locked. Ah, let's go collect the flowers. Lovely, lovely flowers. No, not this way. Forgot. Ladders there, ladders there. Yep. Haha, <laughs> and I got this one. We need four more. Three more. Two more. Ugh, the last one is never easy to find. Morning, Ren. I'm picking Maribels for the festival. Marion Bells. I need to emphasize the end more. Marion. M -m 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 Marion. <laughs> I've got a feeling I've got to go through that cave. I was going to say it's been a while since I played it, so I've got an idea where you're supposed to go. <clears throat> Haha! <laughs> Smashing! Ah, dusk approaches. You should get home soon. Sorry, little one. I've got the flower. Sorry. I know you had your heart set on it. I really do, but yeah. My flower. Yeah, it sounds a bit evil. That don't want to say it like that. Mother! Flowers! Oh, they're lovely. Oh my, how quickly the day has slipped by. Time for bed, dear. I wanted playtime! When you sleep, all your health is restored. Oh well, that's too good then. That's alright, that's alright. Smashing! My bed! Somewhere far away. Where is the priestess demon? She's dead, sire. You lie. I see her in my dreams. But, but sire, I, I struck her down. Fool! Perhaps it's for the best. I've changed my mind. I would prefer to have her live. I do not understand, sire. Death is but a swift escape. I want the priestess to suffer. A slave suffers a lifetime. So you shall have her enslaved, sire. But how? I have a new servant who wishes to become a, a demon, I'll just say it. I know that's not what the word is, but it's pretty much what they are. 
He knows the land where the priestess has fled to. He wishes to be one of us, sire. He must be dark indeed. Damien, show yourself. A sun priest? <laughs> better, a druid, the sun guardian. But better? How can this be better? Are you not afraid he'll destroy us? The sun god has betrayed me. I work against him now. I know a slave trader who will find the priestess, a harsh master. My mother will get what she deserves. <laughs> oh, you're awake. No, don't walk away from me. Hello, ma'am. How are you feeling today? Good morning, chosen one. Uh... Yeah, well, whatever. The woman obviously is a nutter. So, Daddy said he knows you. Your father... Yes, we knew each other from a long time ago. Child, I have something for you. Take this, it'll offer you protection. A priestess's ring. Please, child, keep the ring on at all times. It's very important. Ren leaves the ring on. The strange woman's request is silly, but compelling. Good morning, lass. You enjoying the festival? I've just got up, but yeah. Hi, Ren. Hi, Danny. La 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 la. Good morning, Ren. Don't you agree that the Maypole is lovely this year? Yes, it is. It looks very colourful. Happy spring, Ren. Smashing. Where is that strange woman your pa brought into town? We're also eager to know more about her. Okay, fair enough. Let's say hello to people on this special day. Wow! I can't find any more bells! AKA flowers. Have you tried an apple? The spring harvest is amazing this year. Okay, I think the dialogue might be the same now, you know, for the characters up here. Hmm, the mayor's not here. Children are not allowed to leave the village. Right. No worries. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. No one down here must have to go back to the village then. Lovely. Hmm. Oh, bloody hell. I'm a priestess from a faraway land. I've come to protect you. But I do not need protecting. We shall talk more tomorrow. Keep the ring close. 
I don't think there's much else I can do, so <laughs> I'll just go to bed if I can. Smashing! I am tired, child. We shall talk more tomorrow. But Wait, it's tomorrow, innit? I slept in bed! Oh, bloody hell! Oh, but I saw a van, but flipping heck! Say, where do you go now? <laughs> right, no one's in it. Good afternoon, child. Can I get you anything? You've just come in time. I've just finished baking a batch of bread. What can I get for you? I've got no money at the minute, love. I can't afford a crust of bread. Oh, what are you doing there? You weren't there a minute ago. Psst, Ren! Peter, what are you doing? Me and Jenny are gonna go chase Billy Harper's sheep. Wanna come? Yeah. <laughs> Great. Meet us outside the village by the old sheep pen in half a mark. Bye! Morning, sir. Are you looking for the village? Uh, yes. Is it far from here? Not far at all. Just up that way. Ren points towards the village. The ring the priestess gave her sparkles eerily in the darkness. My, that's a lovely ring you're wearing there. Ren puts a hand in her pocket. Say, for being such kind dear, I'd love to give you a gift. Wow, anything. Are you sure? For one more look at that beautiful ring, you can have anything. If it means that much to you. Ren shows the stranger the priestess's ring again. Yes, that's a beauty. Wouldn't have wanted to lose that. Stranger grabs Ren and puts the slave bracelets on her wrist. Ren struggles to get free, but the man's grip is hard. It, let me go! What is the meaning of this? Do not play games with me, priestess. I know who you are. My master sends his regards. Priestess? I, I'm not a priestess. Who are you? I'm a slave trader, and you cannot fool me. I recognise your wing. That's not my ring. Right, you're going to tell me you borrowed it. A priestess would never take off her guardian ring. Even I know that. Well, take off these slave bracelets, or I'll, I'll blast you with holy power. Yeah. <laughs> How is the bracelet fitting, my dear? Snug. I hope so. My master assured me with that on, your powers would be useless. Time for you to face your new destiny as a slave. No! The slave trader throws Ren in the bag on his back. Ren is put onto a ship and taken to the Eastern Isles where the slave trade is flourishing. You git. Right, so we're going to the Eastern Isles, and we was on the Western one. <clears throat> In the Eastern city of Galariza, Ren is sold as a slave. Her belongings are stripped from her, all but the slave bracelet. Three months later. Aw, oh, the parents must be worried. Ooh. Well, we've got a cloth. Padded bed. Chore list. Get Lars's clothes from the tailor. Kill spiders in the attic. Mistress Rona. My darling son Lars got accepted into Shadowwood Academy for the gifted. He's going to be a sorceress. The emissaries are coming to pick him up tomorrow. Stop dragging your feet, slave. Go do your chores. All right, get. Time to die, spider. You're about to enter your first monster battle. Use your arrow keys or mouse to select an action. I'm using keys, by the way, not mouse stuff. Select attack to attack the monster with your weapon. 
Select item to use an item on your monster or yourself. Select skill to use magic spell on a monster. Select defend to defend against a monster. After you've selected an action, press enter. Smashing. So they have about 13 HP. And this is what I remember. When you first play Avion, you've literally got to go rest in your bed, go fight the spiders. Don't ever try to take them on all in one go. You won't win. You'll lose. Because as a slave, you're not allowed weapons. Time to die, spider. So they have about 13 HP. So that's two. Five. Eight. So about five more HP. And they take about one to five off you every time. Boom. And if you can, before you press space when you've got text on a screen like this, try to watch where the monsters are going. If they look like they're coming near you, don't keep pressing space to get the text off the screen. Because if you do that, as soon as you come out the text, the monster will just come in and attack you. You can use the bread found to heal Ren. I can, but I can sleep in my bed and get my full health back. Eh, eh. Again, don't waste any healing items you've got straight away. Just go to bed. You know, when it comes to dealing with the house stuff, because I made that mistake once or twice as well. I healed myself with the bread thinking, oh, it'll be enough. But then lo and behold, the bloody monsters came up with a critical bloody attack. Let's stay still. Oh. Oh, those are the worst sorts of attacks. Oh! Mm. Oh, this ain't good. I'm gonna have to use the bloody bread now. Oh. A gold penny. Oh, imagine that. Crushing a spider and you find gold in it. We'd all be rich. I've killed the spiders, mistress. Stop dragging your feet, slave. Go do the rest of your chores. And I'll just double check what they are. Get Lars's clothes from the tailor. Oh look, a swamp. Well, she's not that well off, is she, if she's living next to a swamp? Eddie, Ren, Ren, do you think we'll ever be free? I wish it so. Tailors? Hello, Ren. What can I do for you? I've come to pick up Lars's travel clothes for the mistress, Rona. Are they ready? Oh yes, here they are, dear. Thank you. Travelling clothes, mistress. Mistress Rona snatches Lars's travelling clothes from Ren. Stop dragging your feet, slave. Go do the rest of your chores. I, I finished all my chores, mistress. May I go out and play? Of course not. Ugh, where is that son of mine? Go find Lars, you lazy girl, and tell him to come here for supper. Yes, mistress. Ugh, wait till you get out the bathtub going down the stairs. 
Won't be long, Gren. It's possible. She can do it. Whoops. Nice little trip down the stairs. Where's Lars now? Right, item shop in... That boy Lars is always creating trouble. He treats the slaves terribly. Yes, I know. I've been living with him. Each year, the emissaries from Sherdwood Academy for the gifted come to collect the children who learn magic. Ooh, nice. If only I were free. Last, where are you? Ha ha. Lars, Mistress Rona said you had to come home and eat supper. Was that a command? I'll go when I feel like it. No slave is going to tell me what to do. Prick. After all these months, the girl is still too dumb to understand her place. Look how she talks to you. Hey, what's the thing on her wrist? Her bracelet, I guess. Ha! <laughs> My mother would never let one of our slave girls wear something so nice. Shut up, Hector. The only reason she still wears that stupid thing is because we can't get it off her. Come on, let's pry it off her. No, wait, I have a better idea. Slave girl, come here. Why, what do you want? I want to show my friends a little magic trick I've learned. Magic? Even I know you're forbidden from using magic till the emissaries from Shadwood arrive. To take you away. Ha! Who's gonna tell them? You? I will have you flogged for a day straight. Ren tries to walk away, but they grab her arms. Hey, let me go, you ugly lugs. A flash of light jumps from Lars to Ren. The slave bracelet snaps off Ren's wrist. You, you could have killed me, but I did not. Anyway, you're nothing but a lazy slave girl. Who would care? My name is Ren. Lars and his friends laugh. The slave girl reminds me of a foolish puppy I used to own whose name was Peter. She seems to want a name, Lars. Maybe we should give her one. Hmm. Peter, if it's good enough for a dog, it's good enough for a slave girl. I hereby name you Peter. Whatever. The slave blaves are off. Ren, we're free. Run away. Run away, Ren. Get the hell out of my way, people. Right, your scabby son won't come home. Laz is on his way home now, mistress. Did I hear you just talk back? No supper for you. Go to bed. But I'm starving. Flipping heck. Do you want me to make his porridge, mistress? Two. Two. Oh wait, wait, I was gonna say, I forgot what the chores were. Oh dear, oh dear, where is Lars? The emissary will be here in a minute. Do not stand there, go and get my son, you worthless slave. Yes, mistress. Two. Spit on you. Oh, hello. The man is in deep conversation with his companion. You decide not to disturb him. Ren! Help me! Ren! What do you think you're doing to that poor slave boy, Lars? Ha! <laughs> and who's gonna stop me? You! Lars shoves Ren. Lars laughs and turns back to the bully Eddie. Oh, to bully Eddie. Right, my mistake. Angry, Ren picks up a stick lying on the ground and crawls to her feet. With all her might, she thrusts the stick at Lars. Ooh, nice. Ouch! At how the You're gonna pay for that. Ren drops the stick, bewildered. The stranger with long blonde hair picks up the stick that Ren dropped. 
Interesting. This is no business of yours, strangers. This must be Lars. Harold said the child had a fiery temper. Yes, I thought Master had exaggerated, but apparently not. <laughs> I am Gelda, and this is Lorad. <clears throat> We're the envoy that has come to take you to Shadwood Academy. Lars turns red. This is the envoy that is to take him there, to train. His mother is going to be furious with him. Ha ha! Git! That slave tried to kill me. You saw her. I cannot feel her gift, but I am sure I saw her use magic. It, magic? It, no, not me. That slave does not have the gift. She can't. She does not have your gift, Lars. She hasn't the gift of sorcery. If she did, I would have felt it. Did you feel it, Sword Singer? I did, but it doesn't make any sense. She used a stick to draw power. That's impossible. No, not impossible, improbable. Very odd indeed. I thought your kind only used metal to wield the power. Yes and no. We have no one who is strong enough to draw from a stick of all things. There have been strong ones in generations past, but no one alive. Until now. Girl, what's your name? She's a slave, a nobody. The envoy ignores Lars. Ren, sir. Is it true you are a slave? Uh, yes, yes, sir. It, it is true. You must travel where you can train at Shadwood Academy or Shadewood. You must present this token to obtain admittance. Smashing. We get a token. You belong to the Empress now. Uh, what? You said it yourself. She doesn't have the gift. The girl has sword magic, foolish boy. Like all magic wielders, including yourself, she now belongs to the Empress. You are free, girl. A slave to none but the Empress. I, I'm free? No! Please take Master Lass home. I'm sure his mother's waiting for us. I will stay here to answer any questions the girl may have. Sucker! Who are you? My name is Lorad. I'm an emissary from Shadwood Academy and a sword singer, just like you will be one day. My companion is an emissary. Lady Galahad, is that? She's a sorceress. What is a sword singer? Sword singers use motion to draw magic. Most can only do this through metal. I'm amazed that you were able to draw from a simple stick, untrained and unaided. I believe she'd be very strong one day, if you survive the training. Am I really free? Slaves who have the gift are by law declared free. But I thought you said I belong to the Empress now, so am I not still a slave? <laughs> Child, all citizens of the Empire belong to the Empress. Slaves, peasants, nobles, and even sorcerers and sword singers. When do I leave? You can leave at any time. I and the Mistress and Lars will leave tomorrow morning at dawn. If the guards give you problems, show them your token. Yay! I'm free! Hey, mistress! F you! <laughs> Stupid slave. Today was Lars' special day, not yours. Get out of my house and never come back. Am I free to go? The Empress owns you now. Are you too stupid to realise how lucky you are? Oh, and you're not welcome to stay the night. Now you're free, you can find your own place to sleep. Ha 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 ha! Screw you! Stuck up cow. Anyway, ahem, ahem. I think that is a good place to leave this part. And in the next part, we'll go to make our way to the academy. So, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, I've, I've introduced a new microphone set to me at OBS, so if it does sound a bit strange, I'm still working out the books with it. I do hope you enjoyed, because I do love playing this game. If you like what you've seen so far, please consider following me on Switch. 
and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I am hoping to make a career in it one day. And with any luck, I'll see you in the next video. Say bye and please stay safe.